Uh, I'm a musician and I've always been singing and playing and I have my own, like I had a few little songs for years and years kicking around, you know, wrote on paper bags and things like that. And uh, I read about it in the scope a few years ago and it had been completed and I said, gee, it would be nice. Too bad I didn't do that, right? So this time I read in there and it had recording space offered at uh, the scope office for women in the night. So I said, well, that's just for me. That's perfect, right? So I emailed Brianna and went down and started the whole thing. And the next thing you know, it was done. Yep. I wrote a country song, but I sort of wrote it in response to um, the kind of the kerfuffle that happened after uh, the scope published part of this article about kind of encouraging more women to get in, get involved with RPM. And uh, there was a bit of a backlash about it, and it was just like, this is stupid, this is actually sexist in and of itself, and I like a bunch of guys telling me what is like oppressive to me. Most women I know grew up uh, taking piano lessons right away, and uh, and then joining, you know, whatever kind of uh, choirs or, or school bands, and like playing the flute and playing the clarinet and playing like, um, you know, nice, nice classical music and learning to read music and like being really uh, aware of of what they were playing and being scolded if they weren't playing it right and like learning how to, to associate music with like recognizing this and turning it into this. Whereas most men I know, seriously, especially who are involved in music, are um, like they started mu playing music when they were teenagers. They started playing in garages or in basements and they were given uh, equipment and then told to like go ahead do whatever boys will be boys and whatnot and um, and then they learned how to play with each other and they learned how to like mess up and that's okay it's not like it's not you get your wrist slapped because you didn't get first in the regional you know like piano talent contest or whatever you know you didn't get your blue ribbon it I mean that was my introduction to music was like not getting the blue ribbon you know <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I don't really know how I'm supposed to go from from that into being able to like write and record music as if it ain't no thing like it is a thing <laughs> people to take the RPM challenge because they're crazy maybe some some people do it because they're crazy legitimately no um, um, some I mean, many people do it just because to see, to see if they can and that's 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 the other title of like record an album in 28 days or 29 days this year <laughs> leap year record an album in 28 days uh, just because you can you know that's why not? <laughs> I moved to St. John's and I'd never heard about the RPM until uh, last year a friend of mine told me about it. And um, I was really intrigued because I love music and I've never had a chance to play music. And uh, I think it gave me an opportunity to uh, go for it.
recording, I think that you can be hidden and it's kind of uh, relaxing. You don't have to worry about impress impressing people or um, messing up or, you know, blushing or <laughs> having to start a song over again because you don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> Shit. How did you go on? Well, back then, back in the olden days, <laughs> we didn't have free software to download, you know. Um, this is pretty new from what I gather. I mean, partially it's just that I have never had the time. I've just been really involved with a lot of other things and uh, um, they've always taken precedence. But with something like this, like just to be able to use something that you download in a few minutes um, and I just recorded a song, you know, that's amazing because now I can play with it. You know, I could I could just take it home and, and, and tinker with it. So it, it's, it's really fun, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm up below me, the ground is falling. Can I hear you calling from the other side? I'm, I'm a broken, open, empty girl. Fill me up, I'm a turn the tide. South along the skies of the motherland. Tracing my own seed of hope inside Down to the foot of Avril and Achala, Back to the beginning, open wide Like, I don't like messing up. I feel inc an incredible amount of pressure when I'm playing music to, like, not mess up and to, to not fail. And then not only is there that, but then there's this whole other side of like, then you meet these guys who are like, you know, you're 13 and they're like, like jamming and they suck. And you, but you kind of know that, but you kind of also don't because like, you don't even like know how to jam really. Like you're like, oh, okay, like maybe, I'm, but you don't know how. And so then there are all these guys and they're all like, yeah, and like they can do it. And you can't do that, and you still feel like music is this thing where like you're like gonna mess it up and like fuck up this whole clarinet section or or whatever it is, or like, and um, and so you have these two two things coming at you as a teenager, and I just feel like they got so overwhelming for for so many teenage girls, and I know it was for me. You this know? last year, not like yeah, going up to Long and McQuaid with couple of guys in my band and like <laughs> I've been playing for a few years already in the city and I've I've you know I play a couple really nice guitars I've got a nice country gentleman Gretsch it's a beautiful it's <laughs> an expensive guitar and so I'm at Long, McQu Long McQuaid and I and I pick up this Rickenbacker that I would very much like to own but I can't you know they're expensive Anyway, this is a beautiful guitar, and the sales the sales guy, I mean, what he says to me, he comes up and tells me that it looks nice on me, that it goes well with my outfit, <laughs> right? So, you know, even just that, it was, and I'm, all, and I'm always trying to explain to my husband, like, you don't, oh, it's so frustrating, you don't understand. He's like, no, I don't. I'm like, because you just, you don't see it, because people don't relate to you in that way. I think, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's unquestionably male-centric. Um, yes, I think that, I mean, if we look around here, I mean, it doesn't take a marketing genius. I am a marketer. <laughs> and it doesn't take a marketing genius to see that black and blue are colors that appeal to men. <laughs> and, um, and like, big phallic objects are things that maybe appeal to men. <laughs> I, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting on a rage now, but like, yeah, it's obviously all f geared towards men, and these spaces are not spaces that, like, 
women are naturally going to feel comfortable in. Like it sounds really half for school especially, but just, I don't know, there's a level of just support that is, I think, would be welcome, you know, like to sort of voice this kind of opinion or this kind of reservation and then have people be like, that's ridiculous, you know, that's crazy, there's no difference, there's no, it makes you, you know, even knowing myself, like feeling very strongly the, quite the opposite, you know, the, like there was a reaction to this interview we did with the scope and solidly believing this, you know, I still went, <gasps> Like, you know, it still made me feel like, whoa, and, and intimidated. Not intimidated, that's not the right word, but just, like, a little small. Um, I'm here to drop off my RPM album. Uh, just finished it, you know, last minute sort of thing. How it is every year, I guess, for everyone. Um, it was a great experience. I got to help other people do their RPM. Uh, it's fantastic. Look at all the people here. Uh, just happy to be done. And, uh, here we have Welcome to My Kitchen, an RPM album. <laughs> yes, it was pretty, uh, it's pretty special. I, I certainly did not finish any of the, like, like, the crazy concept album where I was going to have to write 10 songs in a month and record them. I didn't finish that, but I did finish something. And uh, that is important to me. Oh, this is, this is the start of something. I'm not gonna let uh, this go by because uh, I, if, I'll do it myself, but I'll also encourage other people to do it because uh, you know there's lots of people with tales to tell. And this helps, you know, it's the word of mouth, the, this is like word of mouth. It just keeps it going. Right? Do I have a message for women who are thinking about recording an RPM album? Yes. Off with their heads. You can punch a hurricane. Do it. I'm just a girl.